Virgo. Hello Virgo, this is your October forecast for 2013 and this month I see you being really busy to and fro, back and forth around your Venin city uh, in uh, town uh, through uh, between neighbors and friends and siblings and so forth and uh, communication too. So you might be somewhat active and participating in some kind of group activity as well and if you are, well this is going to be a great month for you to actually come out and verbalize some of these things that you've been thinking about, okay? And uh, not only is Mercury here in this area, and it rules this area, so she's even more uh, powerfully inclined here, um, but it's also about bringing up those things that you wish to communicate about that's deeper, uh, more heartfelt, soul-felt, truth-felt. Um, being in Scorpio, it, it likes to kind of go deep. It wants to reveal those things that have kind of been living uh, hidden uh, quietly and um, bringing things to the forefront so it might also even be confronting uh, some uh, people or some person or some group that that has been holding back well mercury wants to dig into that and, and really get to the bottom of it um, it's going to go retrograde too here this month mercury is but not before the 21st of october and uh, it'll be there to November 11th, so there's good ample time to really get into this area first. Plus, Mercury is going to be meeting up with Saturn and having a very important discussion. That's later on in the month. We'll get back to that. But it's going to meet up with Saturn. So there might be things that you have been thinking about, uh, contemplating um, karmically too, um, That that that's been weighing on you and you might not have expressed it earlier but now I see here by the way it's going to be on the 6th when Mercury touches upon Saturn where you might confront or have a conversation that goes in depth of something uh, that now needs to see the light and it will be discussed then Mercury is going to pass through this point it's going to turn around come back over Saturn once again and it's going to move through your third house back into the second house okay so what that means is if mercury has been looking over your value systems your your income streams which it has been here in september um that's money right but but second house is also what you value uh what's important to you those heartfelt feelings and what is right or wrong or balanced, justified and whatnot. So you've been doing this in September and now October, you're bringing it into communication, you're expressing it, and you will express it. It's gonna go back into that second house and you're gonna think, well, was that good? Was those choices important enough, valuable enough um, that you had seen in September? Well, you will know when Mercury turns direct again on November 22nd and return back into this area of the third house and will pass over Saturn again. So you can see there's a, a, a deeper underlying aspect going on as far as justifying or bringing into balance or to light those things that you have been uh, observing. And, and as a Virgo, you're always very observant and you analyze a whole lot uh, here, Virgo. And so you've been seeing something for a while just haven't brought it out yet, but this is going to be your time to do it. And I know that once you do, I see not only are you going to feel uh, relieved, but you're going to feel strong, you're going to feel empowered. Why? Because these things are important to you. You know, this is your sense of authority now uh, coming forward where you're going to set things straight. Not saying necessarily it has to do with a big issue, so don't, don't take it there. But I think each and every one of you will know what it means to you because you have been observing here and it's something that's been picking at your worth and um, it'll be interesting to see how you're going to be setting that right. The new moon is also in this area of uh, the second house which rules your money, your income streams, uh, balancing what comes in, what goes out. 
but also what it is you value and appreciate. And uh, so what should the uh, intentions for this October month be? If not, looking at how can I focus on balancing my accounts? How can I look at my income growing and becoming more? Because you only get this area once a year. So it's a perfect time to kind of think of how you can improve your financial situation. It's also how can you improve those things that you love and desire because that is also what Venus is all about. And you might also put on the chart there that you would like to set aside a little bit of this money here to just beautify yourself, Virgo. You know, because it is in the sign of Venus and uh, Venus is ruled by um, Libra here. So it's like you, you want to kind of like don't be too, should I say practical, because you are a practical sign, you know, for everybody else. But, you know, go spy yourself and pamper yourself a little bit. Uh, you don't do that too often, but I think this is what this new moon in Libra is all about, giving it that Venetian twist. Then we have Mars. Mars is coming out of your 12th house, so it's kind of been uh, holding back a little bit here in September. And uh, for you, it's more like, okay, you've needed that perhaps because it's been uh, somewhat of a very busy uh, summer for you in August, also here in, in uh, September. But now it's more like it's needing to kind of pull back and rest because it's just about here. When you get to mid-month, uh, October 15th, it's ready for a new two-year cycle. So right now, go back two years and see what did you conclude and finish up at the time. Because right now, this is what you're finishing up again, just a new layer on top of it. So now, as Mars is preparing for a new two-year launch, well, you need to kind of refill your batteries somehow, somewhat. Do what you love to do when you relax. This is the best you can until October 15th. Then the journey through the first house is all about where you're going to be aiming your ambitions. And I see how you're going to be empowering yourself um, as to those things that you love to do. Okay, your passions, your goals is going to be uh, pretty much highlighted uh, until mid-October where it's going to be changing. But, but right now your Mars is going to want to really go for the dive. Uh, mid-month and uh, this is going to be really nice when we have a couple of aspects that we're going to be talking about a little bit later but yeah you have your Venus here touring the third house for communication and love and Venus is um, very powerful in Scorpio it's very passionate too so you might have been communicating a whole lot with uh, your significant other or if you found somebody new well that has been a beautiful blissful time for the two of you. And if you're single, well, it looks like you're, you're really starting to rev up a journey towards a certain specific goal uh, once Venus gets to the fifth house. That might be happening for you. But for those of you who are in a relationship, well, you know, even if there is a long distance relationship, you must have been very, very close here. Uh, through September because as we're moving into October well we're going to change a dial because some of that shift some of that passion now is going into the home area and the, this will be from uh, October 6th you won't see that shift changing where your focus now is going to be more on uh, property real estate home family you know and catching up with them putting your attention more in on what you can do there some of you might get the itch to be traveling because Venus now will be in Sagittarius and Sagittarians love to travel. So you're going to feel how they feel all year long. You get it for this little scope of the year. Uh, it's like the grass is greener on the other side, you know, and wanting to maybe at least armchair travel or think about uh, how it would be to live in another country perhaps, or the other side of the country. Not saying that you will do that, because Venus visits this area once a year, and you would be moving every year if this was true, <laughs> you know, and you don't. But it's nice for you, it's like where you like to reside and think and dream though. We have the beginning of the month here, Virgo, for you, a communication here that's really important. Uh, has it ties in with something uh, an experience perhaps uh, 
or it could be a dream or a vision or some kind of intuition that has come in like you know how it is when you get your epiphanies or whatnot and I, I see that you would like to share this because it's going to be powerful to you and uh, of course then you want to bring it out however though it doesn't look like the first would be a good day to do it just because Pluto is blocking it maybe it's the person you're trying to share it with that's not open won't have an understanding isn't wide enough to see what it is and so just pull it back uh, you'll have a better time of communicating whatever this is for you here from the sixth one uh, Mercury joins with Pluto uh, that I see there's a, a recipient there uh, where we'll absolutely take it in you know and extrapolate upon it so you're better better equipped there on the sixth and the sixth is when you also can have very deep deep communication on something for you which apparently seems to be somewhat karmic emotional um, uh, spiritual as well uh, and what has really gone down into the deeper cores of your being and this ties in with this whatever happens here on October 1st because you've received some insight here I think that will be very exciting for whoever it is you're going to be sharing it with there on the 16th 6th I'm sorry and then we have a couple of days of a little bit confusion the 10th the 12th for you, this will be between um, uh, the fourth house and the seventh house, a so home and partnership. There might be, mm, it, it's like Venus wants to go in this direction to do something, but then the partner is like here, a little bit evasive, not responsive, um, and uh, then Venus is expending all this energy, so there might be a little disappointment there. And then on the 12th, the sun is here now in your second house and Jupiter up in the 11th. So that square is a little bit different because then you're, you're trying to bring forward something that, that is important and valuable to you. And Jupiter is just being a little aloof. Nobody's home. It's like knock, knock, nobody's there. So you might be trying to reach for somebody in some group or somebody at distance also because it is Jupiter. It could be a friend living somewhere else trying to reach out, but th there's nothing. So those couple of days might just have a little bit of frustration for you, but it's short-lived. Okay, so just let that come and go. 15th, we have Mars changing signs. So it's moving out of your area of the 12th house where you've been holding back you've needed to but now you're going to see your energy picking up and, and loving it okay being very energized once again and on the 16th followed by a surprise and very nice unexpected situation taking place this would be between the the fourth house so a home a home family and perhaps i don't know could be money coming from some family member or a payout of some insurance due to something at home, perhaps. Whatever that means to you, it could be an inheritance, something, uh, or something coming from some joint uh, account or uh, joint project as well. But at least you're going to feel that whatever that is coming, it's something that you're going to be feeling greatly, deeply uh, down inside, okay, because it goes to your roots. This is why I'm thinking it could be some family member too. Then we have the 19th. It's not a day to good day, at least, to have any kind of um, scheduled interviews if you're looking for work. Not at all. You want to avoid the 19th, and I'd say straight through uh, as long as you can throughout this month. Any kind of interview should be way before that. I'd say up to the 15th, and try to avoid the last couple of weeks. Especially here at the 19th as Mars and Neptune, there's misunderstandings. You might lose your point while you're sitting there in an interview because Neptune will kind of just uh, swim it out. <laughs> so to speak. It's just evasive. You, you could be on track here. Neptune will just tune it out. So not a good time to have that. Plus Mercury is just about to turn retrograde here a day or two after. So it's already slowed down. So Mercury is not on track to really get your point across. Plus there could be misunderstandings as well. So just try to avoid any kind of interviews if you can. Um, but we have the sun moving out of your financial area on the 22nd into the communication house. 
it will be passing that Mercury retrograde and it will be touching upon your Saturn also here in this third house. Um, so it's going to be a very busy month and uh, communicating with groups is going to be quite important because we get all these trains coming up here uh, to if you're going to start um, I won't say necessarily studying, but it could be other groups that you're affiliated to. And of course, it could be over the internet and the wires. Jupiter is there. Uh, foreign countries, people and places, for example. You could see how this will really come to life. And uh, you might even be doing short distance travels coming up here. Uh, from the 22nd of October onwards, you will see more of that, which we'll speak about here in November, what's taking shape and form there could be quite exciting for you. So the new moon on the 4th, make your intentions there as far as how you can streamline and advance and bring in more money, uh, and tweak your finances. New moon, the full moon on the 18th, which falls in your 8th house for commissions and royalties. And if you're expecting some payout, this would be the time that you can see you can harvest in on that. So around the 18th. So, Virgos, this is pretty much what I have for you this month. You know, you do want to listen to your moon and rising sign. Why? Because that is also equally as much as your sun sign, and it will give you even more so what's going on with you, give you a fuller picture. So I'll see you next month, Virgo, uh, if not on YouTube, at least here on this site. We're going to see what's happening with YouTube. But I'm here for you, and I will be recording. So take care now.